Hello everyone and welcome to this IoT Marketplace webinar in which we will describe the new smart parking kit that we have released alongside our partners from Laureate from Switzerland and Jazz and Tech from the Netherlands. Um, my name is Fernando Rausel and I'm part of the business development and ecosystem department at Libellium and today I will be presenting this webinar for you. First of all, I would like to start with the index that we'll be following during the webinar. First of all, we will start with uh, an explanation of the IoT marketplace and the value that it provides. And uh, then we will explain a little bit more in deep uh, the, the smart parking kit, of course, that we are presenting today. And I'll show you how to purchase the, the hardware uh, directly through the website. And uh, we will end up uh, giving you some details, some features and characteristics about the new Radar smart parking node that we have released like uh, three months ago. And then we will follow the structure that uh, you can find in a smart parking LoRaWAN uh, project. So we will continue then with the network server. In this case, we will go uh, ahead with our colleagues from Laureate. Uh, and Alan, will, we will explain us uh, the, the, the features and characteristics of the network server. And then we will uh, finish with our colleagues from Jason Tech. Um, explaining the, the software platform they have and the, the, the application uh, they, they provide, which is called Parking Hero. So now let's start with the IoT Marketplace. Um, for those of you who don't know already what, is it, what it is about, uh, the, the IoT Marketplace is a website in which you can find off-the-shelf and ready-to-be-deploy uh, solutions, uh, IoT solutions, for many different applications. And uh, the main value or the main characteristic of this marketplace is that uh, it solves uh, many of the projects, sorry, many of the problems that you can find while, while uh, configurating or facing an IoT project, no matter what, uh, what kind of application. So the main uh, issues uh, that uh, we've been um, seeing that uh, customers face uh, in an IoT deployment are basically this hype and confusion that we see in the market with many agents involved, uh, you know, the telcos, the network servers, the cloud solutions, the hardware. So there's a lot of confusion over that. Then, of course, there are many implementation difficulties and uh, ease of use issues. And, of course, there is a high cost of uh, IoT deployments. And um, that's why we have uh, created the IoT Marketplace. And as I said before, what you can find there is um, off-the-shelf uh, and ready-to-be-deployed kits in which you will find, first of all, hardware that is provided in this case by Libellium. It's a very robust hardware uh, for many different applications that, of course, is, has been certified for many different uh, geographical regions and uh, finally you have the software in which you will see all the data captured by the sensors uh, described there and also you know many partners also provide uh, the application okay that you can have in your mobile phone etc so the main thing you have to take into account is that you will receive uh, a kit already pre-programmed to uh, show the data that has been captured from the sensors. So you just need to take the, the hardware out from the box and plug it on and start sensing. Okay. So before explaining uh, more in deep the, the smart parking kit itself, I would like to show you the structure that this kit follows, which is the main uh, LoRaWAN um, architecture. In this case, we will have, of course, sensors. In this case, we will provide Livellium's one. Then we have the lower one base station. In this case, in this specific kit, we have the multi-tech base station. Then we have the network server with, uh, in this case, it will be explained by Loriot. And finally, we have the cloud and application provided by Jason Tech. So this is the main structure, okay, to, to bear in mind. And Let's move forward now with, uh, with the kit itself. We're gonna, going to click in the IoT Marketplace. So let's go there. As you can see, okay, it's www.theiotmarketplace.com. And as you can see, uh, we will have in any of our kits in the Marketplace, you will have a description of the, of the, of the kit. You will have a, a picture of uh, what, uh, what kind of hardware does, does it have, which is in this case, 10 sensors, and uh, a base station from, in this case, from Multitech. Um, you, will you will see also if there is availability or not of the kit. 
you will see the different regions. Okay, you can click in every region you, uh, you need, depending on the geographical area where you are. And of course, you have the price. The price you will see this in, in this kit and any of our kits is the price of the hardware. Okay, we do not provide the software here. There is no cost of software because all of our partners in the IoT marketplace provide a, a free trial period for you to test the, the technology. So in this case, JSMTEX provides one month free trial for you that uh, you, can, you can use. And after that, you will have to contact uh, JSMTEX and, uh, and ask, them, ask them about the, the, the fees of the regular of the regular fees they have for the for the for the software, so you can he see here a description of the platform and Jason Tech as a company, the main features and characteristics of the platform. You can see also some screenshots of the of of Parking Heroes platform and application. Then we will move forward, and you can see here some you know details to contact them, and then we go to the to the Laureate, to the network server part of the of the hardware. You can see, of course, some pictures and screenshots of the solution and some uh, links to the, uh, to the kit itself. Uh, finally, you can see here also that, that there is no cost okay, for this, for this uh, software. That's provided by Laureate because it's a freemium account. And finally, at the end of the, of the kit, you can see some case studies involved and uh, some documentation for you to check if you, if you need it. Uh, we have here the information about the hardware, about the smart parking uh, sensor, the gateway, and also the hardware support that you have once you purchase this, this kit, okay? So, and now let's move forward to explain the um, hardware itself. I don't want to go more uh, very in deep about the details of the hardware because, because we will probably uh, in the following uh, months give you a specific webinar just focus in the new smart parking sensor that we have released. So now just to, to show you and to give you the main details and characteristics, I would like to show you this. Um, the main thing in comparison with the previous sensor that we have is that we have included this new technology, okay, the, the radar sensor that it has now. So we have improved the, the precision enormously. Um, we have compared many different uh, technologies of detection. You can see here a very interesting table in which we compare the different technologies available for detecting um, uh, if there is a car or not above the sensor. And we finally uh, decided to go and move forward with uh, the radar because the other technologies that we see in the market uh, available does not fulfill all the, the needs that we have and to give the best precision. So, as I said, the main thing is that we are using radar with a, a great uh, precision in comparison with the previous one and in, in comparison with, the, with other uh, smart parking node providers in the, in the market. And the rest of the features will be, of course, that we are using LoRaWAN technology to transmit the data captured by the sensor. We have an over-the-air uh, setup uh, possibility. And of course, we have a CE and FCC certification and IP68 protection for the uh, for the smart parking sensor. Um, as I said, I'm not I'm not going to go in deep about it because actually, as I said in the beginning of the webinar, the the kit comes already pre-programmed and pre-configured, so you you just need to take it out and start working without touching anything and uh, programming anything. So um, you know that's that's very easy and and more comfortable to use. And as I said, you can check this this table in this webinar and also in the smart parking uh, technical guide that we have available in the website. And um, I would like to just to end up and, uh, and remind you that you can uh, always contact our colleagues from Inside Sales here at sales at .com for any questions you could have about the hardware. Um, then you can also check, of course, our, our website and the IoT Marketplace website for you to check the kit. And now I would like to, to introduce my colleagues from uh, uh, Laureate that will uh, explain the, um, the importance of the network server in this value change. So, Alan, you can, you can move forward if you wish. Hello, my name is Alan from the Laureate Business Team. In this session, I will provide a brief overview of the Laureate Network Server 
and the role it performs within any end-to-end -end LoRaWAN solution. We can then delve into the Network Server User Interface to demonstrate how to register our LoRaWAN Gateway and the Labillium Smart Parking node on the Network Server. Finally, we can configure the Network Server to route the incoming node data to our desired application, in this case, the Yasmatech Parking Hero. This is where the data is transformed into insights and value. The Laureate Network Server is a service and software built for the operation and management of LoRaWAN networks. It connects devices, gateways and end-user applications while ensuring secure and reliable bi-directional data routing across the whole network. It is the brains of the network. It controls critical LoRaWAN mechanisms and is compulsory in any solution utilizing the LoRaWAN communication protocol. The network server is not designed for a specific client or vertical. It can be used in any LoRaWAN solution from proof of concept to national network coverage. A major advantage of a LoRaWAN solution is the ease at which we can provision thousands of gateways and devices through the user interface or REST API, all within one centralized network server. In summary, the primary roles of the network server are granting and protecting access to the network, securing data transport from gateways to end data consumers, device and gateway authenticity and authentication, provisioning, maintenance and monitoring of devices, gateways, applications and users, plus many more advanced network operator features. Depending on the solution and the technical requirement, we can provide our services through our 13 worldwide public servers, regionally deployed professional servers, or private network servers installed in the cloud or on-premise. Now we know what role the network server performs, we can access the server through our user-friendly interface to register our gateways and the smart parking node. First, we need to log in. Within the Laureate dashboard, we'll see our applications and networks. Networks are a collection of gateways, and it's here we're going to register on our first LoRaWAN gateway. Select the network, add a gateway, scroll down to your gateway, Enter the MAC address to register it, as well as the location, and click Register. Now we've registered the gateway, we have one more step to add it to the network, which is to install the LoRa Gateway Binary Software. If you go to the Software tab, download from there, and then we can open an SSH tunnel and install the binary. The gateway will then become online and start routing any packets to the network server. Now we need to add our device, so we can go back to the dashboard, to Applications, select our application, or create one if you haven't. Enroll a device, and here we have three parameters to enter for a new device. The device EUI, the application EUI, where here we'll generate one, and the app key. And we can call it the parking sensor, and enroll our device. Now we enroll the device in the, in, within the application, the gateway will start receiving data, forwarding it to the network server, and the network server will recognize it within this application. The last step is to route the data to the application, in this case, the Parking Hero. We do this by selecting Application Outputs, Manage Outputs, and then we have a choice of different outputs we can use to forward and route the data to our application server. In this particular case, we're using a HTTP push, we're creating the target and the authorization header so that the data can be received. Here we have the example. And we start seeing the data has been routed to this endpoint. And in the application, you can start receiving and seeing your data. The Laureate Network Server can be integrated with any applications using standard APIs such as MQTT, HTTPS, TLS socket, and others, as well as fully integrated with IoT platforms such as Azure IoT Hub, Amazon AWS IoT, and many more. Thank you for listening, and I hope this was a useful introduction to the role of the LoRaWAN Network Server in a LoRaWAN solution. If you have any questions or further inquiries, please contact us at sales at laureate.io. Hello, my name is Ian and I'm from Yasmtech's business development team. In this session, I will describe the value proposition 
of our parking solution, Parking Hero, and some of the ways our solution can help municipalities, citizens, and businesses. Let's dive right in. Traffic congestion is a huge problem worldwide and in Europe. It's an overwhelming problem to solve, but we have a specific attack vector, parking. Studies show that upwards of 30% of urban traffic is caused by drivers searching for parking. When you consider all the harm that traffic causes for the local air quality, noise pollution, and for the planet as a whole in the form of CO2 emissions, a 30% reduction is incredibly bold. But we actually see the solution where everybody benefits. Because the reality is that these issues are caused not by a lack of parking, but by a lack of information. In the same way that, in the days before GPS navigation, not knowing how to get to a point across town was caused not by a lack of adequate roads, but by a lack of information. Once the information is there, it can really change the way people act. So, how does this all work together? We've been redesigning the entire parking experience with the Parking Hero cloud platform. Everything works together to provide the best experience for users, but not just users. It is also the best value by far for everyone involved, from the municipalities to the businesses, and yes, to the end user driver who is no longer frustrated. To illustrate what we mean, let's start with the value for our international partners. All of this starts with leveraging IoT sensors to deliver real-time parking availability on and off street. Our international partners can use the Parking Hero Cloud platform to deliver turnkey smart parking service to municipalities and parking owners. Every partner can configure, monitor, and manage the sensors and applications. We have designed the platform in a way to make it so easy for mass deployment, literally a plug-and-play experience. And think about what this means for municipalities or owners of parking structures, to always know where people in your area are parking. But this goes so much further than a simple census like how many parking spots are filled in the middle of the day. No. With our suite of tools and metrics, you can zoom out to see patterns and habits that, before now, have been impossible to track. I want to take you on a little detour of the type of data and insights you can achieve with our system, because I think this is so cool and honestly transformative to the fabric of urban life. So here we can go and zoom all the way in, all the way to the level of a single sensor. Let's select a single sensor and get real-time occupancy of the sensor and other useful data. For each of these sensors, we have complete control, and we can even change the metadata. Look at how easy it is to change the device class, depending on the use case. Disabled, electric charging, public on street, etc. Isn't that so cool? But that's not all. We can look at all of these sensors as a whole. So I can tab through and see the sensors from a particular street, or a neighborhood, or the entire city. These analytics allow you to do a deep dive per day, or hour, or month, etc. So you can see insights that nobody has ever tracked before. The sensors never stop working and are always returning data. All of this data helps parking policymakers know what's going on from the street level to the city level and make good decisions backed by data. No guesswork needed. And you can see how all of this translates to a value for citizens. With the Parking Hero app, Anyone driving in the city can enjoy a stress-free parking experience. It's a smooth way to easily check which parking structures are open and quickly navigate there. The app knows when a parking structure's closing hours are, so it will make sure to only send you to the one that actually works for you, even if there are empty spaces available. And even better, the app will automatically reroute you if someone happens to take your parking spot while you're navigating there. How's that for smart? Let me go here, and you can see that all of these parking structures are free, and I can tap them to get more information. And I can filter based on availability, distance, short stay, or long stay. Each of these options show the availability percentage and number of free spots. I can ask the device to route me to a parking spot which has an EV charger. And while I do that, with the voice directions on my phone, I am secure in the knowledge that the app has got my back if anything changes, like my parking spot is taken. No problem, the app will gracefully take me to the nearest alternative. And finally, value for business. Here's a scary statistic. 63% of drivers said that they avoided going to a destination due to the challenge of finding parking. 
you as a business have a real interest in making sure those customers have as friction-free unexperienced parking so you won't lose any sales to congestion. Because that's what's happening now. And because everything is monitored in real time, you can easily implement valet parking to provide shoppers with an exclusive shopping experience. So now you can see how this system all works together. More data leads to a better experience for users, which leads to less congestion. And it feeds in on itself. It's a virtuous cycle. When the city knows better what's going on on its streets, it can respond better to demand. Since the long-term health of us as individuals and the planet itself is so closely tied to our car use, plug-and-play solutions like this are critical. Thanks so much for listening, and thank you for helping solve congestion through our smart platform. Visit our website for more information, www.yasmtech.com. And you can always send us an email to info at yasmtech.com. Thanks again. Thank you.